Okay. Mate, I think you have way too much tuna in your house here. That is just a little bit too much tuna. <laughs> yep, your house is filled with tuna. What remains of Edith Flinch? <sighs> so that was unexpected. I didn't expect it to jump in to the game this fast. Hello, this is Doddy, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be playing a game that I didn't think I would be playing until this second when I just downloaded it. And I just, I have no context on this game whatsoever, I have no idea what it's about. Okay. And it's just put me in here. Straight away. It's called What Happened, What Remains of Either Flinch. So I hope it's going to be a good series. And I'm just going to see what's happened, what do I do, turn it over like that. Oh, that's cool. He's using mouth control. Mouth, mouse controls. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Start at the beginning with the house. Okay, right. I can't jump. Control, shift, and I was 11, right click. But I wasn't allowed inside half the room. I can zoom in. Okay. Oh, what's this? Inside the oh, mailbox, that's cool. It's like an interactive thing. Ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Whoa, that that's pretty cool. That is. Wow, this the sound design for this game and like ambient is really good. My mother left me a key but didn't tell me what I'd unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The flinches. It seems good so far, so it seems like it's a good choice playing it. How much effort must have been put into this game? It looks like a lot. I want to drip this go past a long it? time, but I saw a few have prints. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Oh no. Whoa, okay. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. Is this a horror? I need to check this a minute. made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, Makes me feel uncomfortable. I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh no. Oh no. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. I'm actually, it says it's not a horror game, but I got a feeling it is. The power had been turned off the night we left. For the first time in years, oh, I felt like I was home. Good.
Okay. Mate, I think you have way too much tuna in your house here. That is just a little bit too much tuna. <laughs> yep, your house is filled with tuna. Then Edie retaliated and dropped peepholes. Whoa. That's cool. Can I just point out, I am, the camera is moving by itself. I am not moving it. Like, I am moving it now, but like, when text appears, it draws it towards me. Can I look through here? My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Ouch. Lewis told me there were secret oh. passages, but I never believed him. Okay. <laughs> Just go like that. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. What? Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Oh no. Gonna make me Pretty afraid miss. of it now, isn't it? Maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. <laughs> Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. What? Molly, okay, so we know her mom's name is Molly. In Molly's room through the people. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Wait, did it say there's something now? Turn the lights on? Being inside for the first time? I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Oh, yeah. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food yeah. was dry, but I didn't mind it. Wait, don't tell me. Oh, that's not nice. That is not nice. Don't eat gerbil food. It's not the only thing you'll be eating. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. My Halloween candy was all gone. I'm not even joking, that's actually made me hungry. Not the gerbil food, don't worry, not the gerbil food. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. No. No, don't eat Christopher. Don't eat Christopher, no. Christopher, don't worry, I'm not going to eat you. Oh, well, that, that's a bit dark. I kept eating and eating. No! Not toothpaste. No, why would you... No. No, don't. Are you drinking out the toilet? would be better than this. I ate a lot of things that night. Okay, I thought you were going to eat the holly then. That's still bad for you though, isn't it? Just seeing them like roll like that or something. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Cool. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Don't fall. And suddenly... I was a cat! Um... Wait. Wait, why am I a cat? I think it's really clever how we've done this. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. 
I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. No, don't eat it. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. What? No, don't eat the rabbit. No, do I have to? No. No, oh no. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. No. Then I flew off to find something bigger. No. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. What just happened? Yeah, because now you're like a a worm or a snake. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Oh. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. <sighs> Not again. Can you stop eating? Wait. Is this back at the same house? No. Don't tell me what I think is going to happen is going to happen. All of my stomachs started growling. All of your stomachs? You only have one, don't you? That was weird. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Oh, that's oh, that's why I couldn't get through because that was one of the doors that sealed off. Oh, what that is either a weird carpet. No, that's not a carpet. The only trace Grandma Sam's so, first anyway. wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Hey, well, it might be a carpet. If so, it's a bit of a weird carpet. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. What? That's one clever book. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Okay, so this is, this is Cal Calvin's room. Kelvin, Calvin. Oh, that's a picture. Okay, then. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At 
barber's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I can't even control the legs. The day he made it was 9 o'clock. And he did. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure about the, the eating part, that was a little bit strange, especially with the cans of tuna in the house, might as well just be eating all them instead. But anyway guys, this is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed, if you do want to see more by me then please leave a like down below, show your support and show that you do like this series that I am now doing. So guys, this is the end of the video, and I'll see you in the next one.